And unlike Ron DeSanctimonious, who voted to gut Medicare, to remember that he voted to gut it. And Social Security gut Social Security. And he voted three times to raise the retirement age to 70. Nikki Haley wants to gut Medicare and Social Security. She says the retirement age of 65 is way too low. We're not going back to people that want to destroy our great social security system. Even some in our own party. I wonder who that might be. <laughs> that want to raise the minimum age of social security to 70, 75, or even 80 in some cases. This depends on who he's in front of. And we're just going to make this thing up as we go. Um, Trump claims the Republicans are not the party who raises the retirement age, but he better talk to his party because that is exactly what they want to do, okay? I can't imagine just going out every day, every second even saying the opposite, unless I was playing the opposite game. Is this a game? You might think so. Republican lawmakers publicly pushing to raise the social security retirement age and slash benefits. You worked for it, now you're not gonna get it. Ha ha, I feel like that's what they're saying, Republican study. Committee, the largest GOP caucus in the House, issued a 2025 budget proposal Wednesday, calling for the cuts to Social Security, among other entitlement benefits. I hate the word entitlement. The only entitlement is you, MAGA, GOP leaders. The people work for this. All right. The proposal states it would make modest adjustments to the retirement age for future retirees to account for increases in life expectancy at the rate we're going. Who's gonna be around anyway? <laughs> Life expectancy, worse than a couple third world countries or at least on par we are. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. Suggested cuts would be in service of reducing the federal government's entitlement budget, which analysts project runs the risk of insolvency in the coming years. The proposal projects reducing social security spending by more than $1.5 trillion over the next 10 years. Rolling stone with the details there. A plurality of voters support lowering the retirement age. Who wouldn't, okay? 67 currently for individuals born in 1960 or later. Individuals can claim reduced benefits as early as age 62, reduce, greatly reduce. Think retirement age should be raised, lowered, or remain the same. Well, you see the results there. Ooh, 45%. Retirement age should be lowered below age 67. People aren't living that long. And you keep jamming them up with their health care, et cetera, et cetera. This is nutty too, Jordan. I wish I could just toss it to you one time with something that wasn't goofy. But I can't, not yet. We'll see how the rest of the show goes. Um, your take on this? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, not today. Not with the stories today. This is just <laughs> another example of Republican lunacy. You've got, you know, this is like the third rail in politics. You don't want to touch this, but Republicans are so beholden to Wall Street to corporate interests that, at this point, they're willing to do it if it makes their donors happy. That's, and but they're framing it as, oh, we're just going to raise the age. That's a cut. Democrats would be smart to pounce on that and frame that as a cut to Social Security. Whoa, you've been paying into this your whole life with the expectation. This is the deal. Since you started working, the deal was you pay in now at 65, you get it. You just change the terms of the deal. Do I then cut cut what I pay in? If you're gonna start raising the raising the age, why am I paying in at the same rate with the expectation that I would get it at 65? Because it's a cut. And they want to do this because Wall Street so badly wants to privatize it. Because corporate interests want people to be beholden to them a little bit longer. Because they want, oh, we want to keep you at work a little bit longer. And then you look at Bureau of Labor Statistics data. They're expecting people well into their 70s, 80s, 90s to start returning to work because they're struggling so much. So this all is connected. And Republicans see that. They're going to push for it. They're going to push it because their donors want that. Trump, I don't think he's genuine in opposing raising the, the age. If it get, if he gets back into the White House and Congress pushes for it, he's going to support it. I think he's saying it as a candidate because he knows it's popular, but I don't I don't trust him 
to yeah. actually fight it when his own party in Congress is pushing for it. Yeah. He's not even reading most of he doesn't even know what he's saying sometimes. Okay. Which is why he just prefers to ad lib and look for the where are my blacks? Okay, in the audience. He does not need to understand. And then there'll be someone who will, you know, say, hey, look, sign this. What is it? It's your lunch order. Okay, it's not your lunch order. You just raise social security aid. Okay. But it's gonna be fine. I don't understand why you would want more of that. We're all gonna if things work out the way they hopefully will, we're all gonna reach a point where we deserve what we've paid in. You would think, right? We'll see. Nothing this this one's doing seems in your best interest. Yet here we are. And I do wonder, and I don't know, Jordan, I'll give you the last word. Who you believe is the architect truly of some of this stuff? How much is Bannon behind the scenes involved? And we know uh, what's his face, the one that just got out of jail, who can't vote in the election, but is coming back as I guess campaign chair raised some money. He does have people that he deals with foreign interests. So who's really behind all of this strategizing? I, I mean, I think on. On the Social Security part, Rick Scott has been a champion of that. Paul Ryan, when he was in Congress, championed that. Um, but in terms of who on Trump's team is talking about it, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't think Bannon has as much influence yeah. anymore, though. Well, I, you may be right. I do know that when it comes to Donald Trump, okay, if they can't distract him with a Diet Coke and a Whopper, it's whoever's next to him at that time. Okay, it's whoever he listens to at that time who can get him to do whatever, say whatever, no matter what it means to the rest of us here. Wake up, folks, okay? You had people in Russia not that long ago protesting when they talked about rape, and theirs is not ours. Their age limit for you know retirement, their version of it. They said, oh, even to Putin, you're not about to saddle us with that. But yet here we are. This is why I use the four letter word, cult, cult. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show. 